next page uh, we have a little flip page and on top of this page I want to use this chipboard and I want to use this as a decoration for my belly band what I was going to do on top of this so I will search a piece of paper and we can use a leftover like this and I want this that this overlaps the paper so I am going to measure um, three I think two and a half will last two and a half yeah so I will cut this at two and a half and yeah, let's see if I can do this. No, I can't. It's really hard. It's supposed to be. Let's see. Nope. 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 The sign is at three. So I will measure my paper at two and a half. It does not have to be that correct but let's see if I can cut this small piece I really hope let's see I really hate cutting small edges yeah I think I got it yep two and a half wow and uh, pretty much no, not pretty much. It's exact. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love it. And now I think it will fit. Yeah, at the back. So the. Yep, like it. So, how we are going to measure? Of course, we are going to make first a flippity flop. Because we want to use the complete page. Yeah. Then we are going to measure the complete size. Now it's black on black, so I hope my head is not in the way. Um, and then we measure at the bottom and then make a flippy flop again. And then we just cut it shorter. And fold it. Okay. That is pretty easy. Easy peasy. Okay. And now the next thing I like to do. Let me see if it fits. I want to use it for these two cards. But I think... It will be very, very tight if I put glue on here. But I think it's possible if I make it very sure that I will stay between those two lines. I hope I do. So yeah, let's find some background paper. I think I will search a little green and I will be back in a minute. Okay, now I have cut my paper and I also used a very tiny piece of double sided tape for the middle. So we created two pockets and now we are going to place this in the middle. Yep, and then we just glue this on top of at the bottom. And let's give it a try. It should be just fitting, and it does, it really does. Just and I think it's enough. I hope it will hold. 
but you also can make a large pocket of course but I just want this use these cards yeah it works fine alrighty now let's see for the decoration like I said we want to use this but I don't need I don't like that black on the back so let's find a nice piece but um, I really want to use my stripes my uh, leftovers but I don't know if this is enough I think it is. Let's see. I really want to use all my leftovers. So let's cut this at the good size of this one. And this is a really nice one for little scraps. This one, it fits. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this is how we do it. <laughs> Alright. So, now we just need to glue this one up. And then I really need to bend it a little. So let's see. Let's use a little of this and then some glue. I think I will do it on this. So I be sure. Yep, 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 yep. And now this is fitting. <laughs> okay. Why I always search something difficult? I don't know why that is. But I think I will make the card tiny little and uh, use a little um, a little edge I think that's nicer so back in a minute okay, and when we are done we can glue it on the page so this is a really easy page but Still nice and functional. 
and yeah this is much better for using making these a little smaller these note cards and put a nice ribbon in so yeah let's go to the inside of this one yep stay okay. tuned on the inside i think it will be nice if i use these two as a little stripe on the side to give the back page because I want to make a photo background uh, just a nice place to put a photo on so I want to use these two stripes to give it an extra touch so place it on the right spot and as you can see I did use a magnet to keep this page on his place there we go and now I can find a nice piece for the inside and I think I will use Over here. So, let's see. Um, yeah, it could be pink. Why not? Let's nope. see. I decided to just use this plain piece of original because. It's more fitting to the background. So I try to use as less of my digital, digital printables, but I really don't know if I have enough, but I will manage. I think this fits perfectly just simple yep just simple um, I think but I don't know is this nice for an extra time oh, you don't see that good but we can we can give it an extra nice touch Perhaps if I make this in pink, perhaps that will be nice. Let's see if okay, I can. Okay, let's see how it turns out. I placed this um, between these uh, two papers. So I first I cut it out and leave a little stripe extra, of course. And then I place it on the black paper first and made it a little lower so we have uh, still have a little black edge uh, on the side so it will not matter if um... and then I put <laughs> the paper uh, on the back and made a little tuck spot from the west and the rest of the Left over, I made a little card so you can write on underneath above the photo. So, yeah, this is pretty much it for this page. So, pretty easy, easy going. So, up to the next okay, one. Okay, for the next page. Oh, and by the way, I did a little crystals on the chipboard. I thought the other chipboard was a little plain. So, um, let's see, I used the same papers as I used on this one. So this base, this, I want to continue on the front of this page. So first I glue these two on. And then we have the measurements. What we are going to need further. So I first place 
these two on. And I cut them in the same size as the other one. And I believe it's two. I believe it's two. Uh, a one point eight centimeters and how much an inch it's one two three four oh my god I'm terrible in this <laughs> two four six eight ten eleven sixteen yeah but you can measure your own please do it's really no big deal how wide or small you have this because now I put these two on now we are going to use the inside of the black one so I grab a piece of paper let's see do I have something left nope then I have to grab another one no big deal um, and then I measure the inside of the stripe so the inside of this one so I lay it and then cut it. And then I make a flippity flop. Let's put this a minute away. A flippity flop at the smallest size. So. So what we do, we made the flippity flop and now we are lining up now already. Let me put some white under so I hope you can see. Now I line it up on top and then measure it all the way down. And let's see, do we want it all the way down? Yeah, we want. So let's cut it. There we go. And then we have the flippity flop. Now you can first do your decoration before you put it on. Um, but I always like to do my decoration when it's in the album. Well, not always, but pretty much. So I see what I am doing and I'm not um, gluing it upside down. So place this on his place where it should be. Move it around and when you think yeah this is perfect then give it a go. So now we made a flippity flop on that moves up. There we go. So now, yeah, you just have to decorate it. But I like to do a pocket beneath here. So I first make a pocket and then do my magnet on. So, yeah. Let's use a piece of leftover because we don't need, don't have to be that very deep. So yeah, let's make a flippity flop. Always do this first one. Fold it. Oh. Measure the inside, make a mark, do another flippity flop at the point where your mark is, cut it a little bit shorter. And then your pocket is ready. Now you can, if you like, you can make an extra um, board for this, same as this one, if you like. It's optional. 
but um, I don't know if I do that but first I will glue this one down and then I decide I prepare my decoration and I will come back to you but you see what would how the pages is going to be and the decorations is pretty much your choice what paper you are going to use there we go pockets and a flippity flop and now I like to use a magnet Okay, that's it. So let's do some decoration first and I'll come okay. back in. Okay, let's see. Um, first, I did the inside and made a pocket, make the same um, cut die as on this one, and I made a card in it and uh, I put some design paper on the back of this one so this is finished and it's closed magnetic and now we are going to the top of this page so I already cut my design paper for this one and on top of this I will we are going to make this photo frame which is going to be open like this so we have one two three places for photos and again on here also three so six nice little photos will be in here so let's see how we are going to attach this one now you can you have two options you can make this one with a cut in this paper and slide it in so it's so you see this you see this nut, that is what I was to say. Um, but you also can just glue this one down so we have a little pocket, an extra little pocket on here. And I will do that and my reason is because I use this die, I really like this die, and the die also cuts this part out. And for the person who gets this album, it's nice to have exact the same size as this one. So if you are putting a nice picture in, it's nice you have a little mole um, so you can cut your picture exact the same size. So that is what I was do in my pocket. I hope it will fit, but I will manage. So what I do is of course, place some uh, tape on the side um, yeah, I will do it so and then only three sizes of course fold this a little in and use some glue extra sturdiness nope. oh my table is really a mess today but it will do okay let's see this is the good size up and then we just going to place this in the middle like that 
make sure the glue is really good attached to your paper and then we have a little pocket so I can place it in here was not supposed to be C on but otherwise I can place it perhaps a little pocket on here I think that's nicer so we have two secret pockets uh, I think I will do this one but now we uh, are going to decorate the west and I will figure out I think a little ribbon on here what do we have to search a nice color um, so yeah stay tuned okay, before <laughs> I made my last page and that's this one I will um, let's see I was planning to do here a closure but I've <laughs> I forgot that this will lift up so I think it's necessary we just do it all the way around so we have to tie this I think yeah I think we do yep we do we do we do we do let's grab some tape let's eyeball this in the middle pretty much this is the middle now search for the middle for the ribbon and I use seam binding the grey one I think it will match pretty and then we just have to close yeah let's do one last page together then because now I have no reason to put my ribbon on this page yeah 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 my mind is not very helpful today but <laughs> I hope you all have a laugh at my mistakes and we only am on which page we are one the third one how many mistakes I already made <laughs> so please first watch it and then create it so yeah oh yeah and um, I made an extra pocket for just my mole and I made two extra little tags and I did some paper on each side so we can make a nice tag so yeah this is how it looks on this side and this on this side so this closes with this ribbon let's see if I can tie it probably there we go not too wide cut the edges the strings a little shorter, there we go and now it's all ready to go in the album you see for everything is a solution and it doesn't have to be perfect, just go with the flow you see I do not uh, overthink some pages uh, sometimes I do but sometimes I just go with the flow let's grab my album uh, yeah it's the third page and let's glue it in there we go Yeah. 
Yep. Like it. Hope you do too. Yeah. So this flips up and down. And yep. Like it. Up to the next page. Oh, Thanks for okay. watching. Okay, let's go to the next page. And uh, I want to do on top, I want to make a pocket. And I want to make a larger pocket. No, not a larger, a thicker pocket. Pocket. So first I decide how, how wide it will be. I think 10. 10 centimeters or 4 inches. That will do. Yeah. Yeah, this is a nice size. So mine is 4, 4 inches or 10, 10 centimeters. So make 3, 3 fold lines. 1, 2, 3. First, we're going to fold these ones. Like this as an accordion. There we go. Now, where the next line is going to be, just line it up, grab your pencil, and make a mark. There we go. Now, again, we need three. We need three fold lines. So I line it up, see where my mark is, and I do one. Oh, it should be this size. And here we go. So three. And I need to cut this a little shorter. For my hinge and again we fold one two three yeah there we go now we have a little thicker envelope so let's put it on on the page Now this is wider than a normal flat flat page is and that is what that is what I wanted for this page. So now we are going to make the the closure for this pocket. And let's see if we have some leftover papers. Ah, this is Good enough, yep. This is, let's see, let's make it the same size as the pocket. Cut it. And make a fold line. 
No, not a fold line, a flippity flop. Still don't know why I ever called it. <laughs> but you can name it. Let's see. How white? Let's see. I want to use um, another bronze one. Not the same, but perhaps a smaller one. And then perhaps this one. And then this on top. Something like that. Let's see. Oh, I really like that one. Let's see. This color or... This one is also nice, but it's not very straight. Yeah, or the grey one is also nice. Yep. Okay, now let's move on. Put this aside. So I want to be, I want to use this, this piece. So I decide, is this enough? I think I want to make it a little shorter. Um, how much shorter I want it? Yeah, I think three inch is is enough, or seven centimeters. Just about that. That's enough. I think I will. Yeah, this is this is better way better than this really yep nice nice or even more shorter no it can be then it's more like an envelope i think i think we we'll need to make it a little shorter how far an envelope does normally come hmm. i think two yeah two inch I think that's better. Then you see on top it's more like an envelope. Yeah, this is better. Yep. Alrighty, so let's glue it on. I think I will cut a little edge of this one. Just in case. And to make it even more like an envelope closure, I will cut this one. Oh, it's a little off. This is better. Yeah. Like it. Now let's put it on. On the edge of this page. big pockets where we can place lots and lots of nice cards yeah like this like it like it like it so let's embellish first this and then go let's do this one so let's you. see before i go further my hot glue is need to warm up so i think we are moving to this page and it will not do too much on this page but I only want to make an extra page for this one so let's grab a piece of paper and match the same size and then cut it 
and make a flippity flop. the fold line here and just two or three millimeters from the edge and now you can decide it's always nice if you have an extra um, you can decide if you are cutting this or give it another fold line so we can create another pocket and I am the pocket queen I like pockets. Pocket, 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 pockets. So, so now we have created an extra page that will go in here. And this closes. I think I will do make a magnet on this one. And then this flips to the right and we have another pocket here. And I think I like that pretty much or the pocket on this side either way we can do it I think what do we want want no I want it inside so we have plenty of place for making a magnet here yeah let's do that so yeah let's place it in this just one or two millimeters off the fold line and then you always be good there we go and then create this pocket now or later and I think I will make this later so I can put my design paper on first then glue it down so it's nicer otherwise you can't get a nice design paper on so yeah I think the next step is making a magnet on here let's see I thought I had some hmm. need a new one pretty damn sure that I already had one but hey okay I left it somewhere under the album I believe so this is coming pretty much here There we go. Now, I think this is pretty much off camera, but I think we managed it just a little. Okay, so my hot glue is ready to go, so I will finish it up. Yep, back in a minute. Show you real quick what I did. Uh, before I put my design paper on, I put a magnet on. So I measured this one. And then I decide where my magnet is. So my magnet is right underneath there. So we have a large uh, metal piece of this filigrane. And as you can see it already attached. So now it's for me to use my hot glue. Not over it. So let's see. Now don't make it fall. 
Where was the magnet? Try to find the magnet. Yep. There it is. Give it a nice push, 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 push. There we go. Now, if you don't trust your glue, you always can use some bread in if you like. Don't need to, I think, but you can. I think the hot glue will hold this pretty much. Yep. Okay, let's go further with the decoration. Okay, wow, that was pretty much, but let's see what I came up with my design papers. Um, well, this is the top of my envelope page with a pretty wide one, so we can put a lot of light, nice cards in. Uh, magnetic closure, then this opens to the left, and I did put uh, this design paper on the left, just the paper because it's busy enough. Then on this side I used the stripes that came off the paper on each side and this is from Victoria Designs and I put two little corner dies I used um, the dies I believe was from the action so not particular expensive ones and then this flips to the right and then here we have an extra pocket where I made this card with my uh, corner around the edge punches. I really don't know how this is called, but it's a really nice one. Thought it fits to the kit, to this papers, and uh, this paper is also from Victoria Design. It's a really grey one with a nice rose on. And in the middle, I used this paper with two little blue stripes to fit on and a little extra strip on the bottom so the paper will fit easily and again a nice cut apart from the Martha Stewart punch and a little tag so that is it this is it <laughs> so and this is also magnetic so this will stay put okay let's continue to the next page <laughs> 